We're starting to see some of the consequences of the delayed 2020 census. The Census Bureau's December 31st deadline to present the count to the president was pushed to February 9th. And a Department of Justice attorney said this week to expect more delays. Maggie Glenn explains why this could force lawmakers to come back for a special session this summer. It's fundamental because it creates the basis in which people vote for their legislative representatives. The U.S. Constitution requires the redrawing of congressional districts every 10 years, known as redistricting. It's through this process that principles like one person, one vote, equality of representation are all, and, and the sanctity of elections, are all preserved. It's based on the census, but the Census Bureau missed its year end deadline to present its base count to the president. Already right. providing contingencies for you know another delay. The data the state depends on for redistricting typically comes out in the spring. And that's normally April 1st is the statutory deadline, but that could come substantially later. And with the regular session ending on May 31st, increases the, the probability that the legislature will not get even the state level redistricting done during the regular session. The Texas Legislative Council says if the data is not available until the summer, a special session might be needed. The governor controls that, but if you don't, plaintiffs are gonna sue that the current districts are invalid. The courts will be faced with the prospect of either allowing the current districts to stay in effect for another election cycle. Generally, there's a lot of reasons to disfavor that, right? Because that's one fifth of the decade you've got malapportioned districts. In other words, unequal representation. Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. If the legislators do receive the data from the Census Bureau during the session, but aren't able to come up with a plan, it could be passed to the Legislative Redistricting Board. That board is comprised of the Lieutenant Governor, Speaker of the House, Attorney General, the Commissioner of the General Land Office, and the Comptroller. They would have 90 days to convene and 60 days to adopt a plan.